Hello and welcome to a game of StarCraft 2 between Mass and Slayer S Boxer. Mass will be playing as the Red Zerg player at the 12 o'clock position, where Slayer S Boxer will be playing as the Blue Terran player at the 3 o'clock position. This is GG Face, and the map is going to be Metaopolis. And it looks like at this point, Mass and Slayer S Boxer is getting into a little bit of a verbal battle. We can see Slayer S Boxer's APM is dropping a little bit as he's typing and thinking about what to say to his opponent. This is almost like the scene in the movie 300 where a Persian messenger says to King Leonidas, watch your words carefully, Leonidas, for they may be your last as king. And Slayer S Boxer goes, I have chosen my words carefully, and you should have watched yours and before he bah, kicked them into the pit of death. And it looks like both of these players are going to be building a lot of drones and SCVs at the moment, so this is going to be one really explosive game. Slayer S Boxer is still trying to determine what Mass is trying to say, whether or not he is trying to insult him, and I don't think it's a good idea to insult the great boxer. And it looks like Mass will back off as he really wants his skill to do the talking as both these players are dropping their APM a little bit at this moment. Both these players are very, very high APM players no matter what they're doing, no matter if they're controlling 6 SCVs or 100 units, it's always the same non-stop action. Mass will be pumping a lot of more drones. His 14 drone are coming out at the moment and his overlord is above the base of Slayer S Boxer. Slayer S Boxer is going to start the wall off with the barracks along with the supply depot. There is going to be a hatchery going up at 14 population for Mass as no spawning pool has gone up just yet and Slayer S Boxer must not be feeling too happy as both these players are gearing up for the very early stage of the game. Both these players are dropping their APM a little bit, probably letting that talk affect them slightly as one overlord is going to be directly outside of Mass's base. That overlord is in great position, will allow him to have vision of any incoming troops as that is going to be the most likely route and looks like Slayer S Boxer is going to be getting the orbital command along with sending out the first SCV to Scout's bonus. The second SCV will come around and block off the ramp as well. The block off is a great block off between the supply people and the barracks. However, it is not mailing proof and it looks like this SCV will be building a bunker. Ooh. He is going to go in to confirm that the hatchery exists and he has confirmed the hatchery ha does exist and one drone is going to come out and he will spot the SCV with it and it looks like right away he is going to pull off additional drones to help and there's going to be one marine on the way. Drones are coming off the line. There's going to be a total of six drones versus one SCV. One bunker being built. This bunker is not yet complete. It is at 184 HP and that ooh the one marine actually gets Miss Micro a little bit and the SCV is going back to build. The SCV is very close to death. It is almost dead. It's at 5 HP. One more hit would have killed it and this bunker is going to go down and he he does cancel it, so Slayer S Boxer did lose a Marine there, and he had to cancel a bunker, and I think Mass is feeling pretty good about himself as Slayer S Boxer, the legendary Emperor, has missed Micro just a tiny bit. He will directly be going for the command center along with a double refinery. This is very unorthodox, very unusual for the Terran players to do, and a couple of Zerglings will be running toward the to the base of Slayer S Boxer. There's going to be one spine crawler going up along with a Roach Warren as well as the Extractor. The Extractor is already up and functional. Not, no drones inside of it just yet as these Marines are running back and forth to ensure that Novalor flies in and gets a free look at the command center that his opponent has not yet seen and it looks like the Zergling is going to come in. There is a Supply Depot. Supply Depot is not closed. The Zergling will be able to get inside once again. This is a slight miss micro by Boxer. Boxer does catch the Zergling but the Zergling does give his opponent the vision of the command center which is about to be complete. I don't think he's going to cancel it here. It's about 80 or 90 percent complete. That is a lot of wasted time and minerals if he were to cancel all because this one Supply Depot was not blocked off and if we take a look at the army size for both these players. 32 versus 28 at the moment. Not too many attacking units. There's only about three Zerglings out on the field versus 5 Marine, a little bit more for Boxer as he's going to be building barracks. These barracks probably a little bit more for the bailing proof ability of his base as a factory is going to go up at the back as well. At this moment, Slayer Ice Boxer has not yet expanded. The income tab does reflect both these players are about the same in terms of minerals, but Mass does not have the gas intake of Slayer S Boxer, and it looks like Mass might be moving out with some of these Zerglings. Army size is at 43 versus 33, and Slayer S Boxer does have more and more barracks. Those barracks will get placed in the bag, will get a tech lab attachment, as some of these Zerglings will test once again the front gate of Slayer S Boxer. Slayer S Boxer does have his front gate closed, and these 
Zerglings will not be able to get in, and the Marines are in the back. Some Roaches are being produced at the moment. Some Tech Labs are getting attached to everything. There's going to be two Tech Labs attached to the barracks, and one Tech Lab attached to the factory as additional overlords are being built at the moment. And there's also going to be one Bailing's Nest, along with a second gas for the Zerg player. And he has chosen to take one gas at his main, one gas at his natural expansion. While this one SCV is going to come across the map, will get spotted by the Zergling at the Zelnog Watchtower. However, that is not where he's going. It looks like he is stuck and he is going to fight the Zergling, possibly. There's going to be a Siege Tank along with Stem Pack as well as the combat shield for the Terran Blair Slayer as Boxer as he is going to move these Marines in position to kill off the Zergling that is chasing his SCV. He will be able to keep his SCV alive and he will be expanding to his natural expansion. The natural expansion was a little bit delayed because I believe he did know that his opponent has seen he has gotten a command center so he did not want to move out right away as those Zerglings were checking if he has expanded. But because he was able to take down that Zergling he does feel a little bit safe now and he is going to take advantage of the time that his opponent is not going to scout him. His opponent does not yet know he has the factory or the second barracks. He will be building his fourth barracks. There's going to be a total of four barracks. And the Zerg army is very scary at 73 at the moment versus 50 of Boxer. And the Zerg also has about the same number of harvesters and income. He does have a really large army of roaches coming across the field. There are 12 roaches, 8 bailings versus only 14 of those marines. Marines are not very good against roaches because they do take a lot of damage and they're not that great. They do have stem however and more marines are being produced at the moment along with siege tech and siege tech might finish probably not going to be finished in time and there's going to be two bunkers going up but these bunkers will not finish in time. The roaches along with the bailings are coming in here. He could be in a world of trouble if he comes in and the bunkers, oh, I mean the SAVs are going to go down and the bunkers probably will get cancelled. One bunker does get cancelled. SCVs are being pulled back into his base. He does live the command center, but he probably will lose his refinery. He does have the siege tech about another 30 seconds from completion. And the Zerg player is completely dominating the map at this point. He has a lot more income than his opponent. He does have about 500 or so more income. And he does have map control at the moment. Boxer is stuck on one base. His siege tech is about to be done. He really needs to push out and get an even footing along with the Zerg player. And he will move the tank to the side and possibly shoot these roaches. Ooh, he only takes one shot there. I think he could have taken more shots at those roaches. Roaches do not have vision of the siege tank at the high ground. He really needs to bring an overlord over here if he wants to engage the siege tank on the high ground and these roaches are still patrolling back and forth. Very good idea. And we also see the centrifugal hooks being upgraded for the bailings which is an essential upgrade against the infantry because infantry ball can slow you down with the concussive shell. Actually he does not yet have the concussive shell. He does have a pack of Marines and Marauders and the Balins are coming in from the lower left hand corner the Roaches are trying to trap them into a front line and the Balins are coming the upgrades are not yet done and the tanks are firing on the Balins taking out ooh taking out all of the Balins very nice covering fire there from the tanks preventing him from losing all of his infantry this box of infantry would have been nothing but just green goo on the floor but the Zerg player was not so lucky as the Terran player did siege his tanks up on the high ground. Now Boxer is climbing a little bit back into this game as he is going to do a counter push. The army size is going to be at 84 versus 86 the first time. The Terran player, Slayer S Boxer, is at a slight advantage. He does have a lot of Marines, 4 Marauders and 4 tanks. These 4 tanks are going to be invaluable. He really needs to keep these alive if he wants to have any chance of crushing the Zerg player. And the Zerg player is going to go in a defensive position as this one overlord is not going to get shot down just yet. And he really needs to siege his tanks. One tank is getting sieged. Zerglings are being spawned. There's going to be a lot more units. And these Zerglings, there's going to be 30 Zerglings. And it looks like around 9 or so roaches. One of them did go down right away. And the infantry is coming in to try to lure some of these units into the tank fire. And they are going to bite. It looks like he's going to move into the tank fire. The infantry is melting down the roaches very quickly. The roaches are going down left and right. And the army size now is at 78 versus 96. And more units are being spawn at the moment they're not going to make it in quick enough and there's some mutilus mutilus can take out the tanks in the back as there's no marines covering the tanks a scan goes off and he does see the mutilus to the side the zerg has taken his third base however and he's trying to get his footing back into this game but his drones are being killed off he's not too careful microing those drones he should have microed them away when he was sieged when the siege tank siege and he does have it looks like around six of those mutilus mutilus will come in on the side at this moment slayer's box does have about double the population of army size 
than his opponent, and he's going to be able to pick off one of these siege tanks. Second siege tank is going to go down as well. We do see the plus one upgrade has been complete for the infantry, so that would be really, really good for these marines to fight against the mules. Mules do not want to engage those marines head on, and he is in a lot of trouble. He does have the appropriate units. He does have the bailings with the upgrade, so he could take out all of these marines, no problem, but he just needs the right time. He needs to find a window where his Siege tanks are unsieged and get in there and it looks like the third hatchery will go down and these mules are picking up some of the infantry that was set to a rally point to his tanks but they're not really paying attention and he might be able to pick off this oh no he does not manage to pick off that marauders marauders and marines still coming across the field here and one of those mules does get taken down by the focus firing of the marine and he will be able to pick off two additional marines but I don't think that was a very good exchange for the Zerg player as he is still at 53 population whereas the Terran player is at 115 Solaris Boxer is coming back from his early deficit of only having one base for quite a while and preventing that bailing bus by those bailing very early was absolutely crucial and he is going to siege his tank here but these marines and monarchs are absolutely exposed the bailings are rolling in and the marines are needs to move back and they're going to fight the mules and he sees he scans critical scan he does catch all the bailings all the bailings blow up before they get an infantry ball and now slayer s boxer is a commanding lead and Slayer's Boxer says GG. Ooh, a preemptive GG at mass as well play. Hope you guys enjoy that game. If you like what you see, please do subscribe to me at youtube.com slash GG your face. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys at the next game. High five for preemptive GG.